This is our end-over-end -end drum mixer. It's designed for handling 200 and 220 litre drums, and we can provide an adapter to mix drums smaller than 200 litres. The drum mixer is available as an electric model, which is plugged into the mains. Alternatively, we can supply it pneumatic hydraulic, and this model can be certified for use in an ATEX area. We can use our three different depalletizer models for lifting drums off the ground or from a pallet, and then we can use them to load them, the drums into the mixer. The mixer has a number of safety features. We cannot rotate this drum and we cannot mix it until the gates are closed. We also have on the control panel a number of different features, such as a digital timer, so we can have a time duration of a mix, and we also have the standard sort of emergency stops and speed controls. We've got our DTPO4 depalletizer. We're going to take the red drum and load it into the drum mixer. The, the lifter has a side shift arrangement, so we can slide the lifter depending on where the drum is positioned on the pallet. Move it forward. Connected the drum. I'm going to pump the handle. And we're going to reposition it. Disconnect the drum and move the unit away. Once we've got a drum loaded into a mixer, we now need our top clamp bar. We take our top clamp bar, holding it by the handles, place it on top of the drum. We then bring these threads in and align them with the drum. and use our tool to clamp down the drum and secure it in place. Using our T-bar, we clamp down the drum using these nuts. We want to tighten them evenly on both sides. And they just need to be reasonably tight but not over tightened. Once they're tightened, we can close the gates and begin mixing our drum. Our end over end drum mixer can mix a variety of drums. We can mix tight head steel drums, 200 litre, open top steel drums of 200 litres, tapered plastic drums, cardboard or fibreboard drums, Mauser drums, L-ring plastic drums, and small drums using our small drum adapter. We've now loaded a drum into the end over end mixer. Here we've got a 60 litre Mauser drum, so this is open top with a black plastic lid. Once we've loaded it into the mixer, we take our small drum adapter. Now what we do is we adjust the height of this cross beam so that it sits on top of the drum. We lift it up, place it down. This top cross beam is sitting on the top face of this drum and you can see low down these alignment pins have some room which allows this to compress down. This space here is where our top clamp bar goes. So I'm going to take, take our top crossbar, 
Using the handles, place it on top of a small drum adapter. We then have these screws, one on the left, one on the right. Holding the bar, we lift up the screw and drop it into place. We then do the same on the right hand side. If needs be, we can loosen these screws so they've got more slack. Taking our tool here, we then tighten down the screws. As soon as tension comes on the screws, we want to do both sides equally. And the force required is quite low and they just need to be nice and snug. So they feel quite tight, they're, they're snug. This crossbar is now pushing on this drum. The drum's secure in the head. We can now close the gates and begin mixing the drum. We're now looking at the main control panel. We can see that the unit is powered up with this white light here. Once the drum's secured and we want to rotate, on the right side we have a start and stop button. So we press start to begin the mix and stop to stop the mixing. When we want to return the drum to a vertical, we press this docking function. Once pressed, this will return the drum into a vertical orientation. In the centre we have our speed control. So we can turn this dial to adjust the speed of a mixer. On the left, we have a mix timer. Press the square and, and it begins to flash. We can then decrease the mix time or increase the mix time. Once we press the square again, this sets the mix time. In the center, we have an emergency stop button. Press this down to stop all functions. Twist it clockwise to reset.